how can a simple thing, an everyday thing like red beans become famous? And they really have. I mean, in our culture here in Louisiana, this is most one of the most favorite and one of the most famous things we have. People come from all over the world to eat our red beans. Why? And it's basically because of our cooking methods and that we understand that if you leave the starch in the bean after it's cooked, then you won't get a good taste out of it. This starch is bland. It's like sticking your finger in flour and putting it in your mouth. What it's going to taste like? I mean, it's going to be just be sticky and very bland. So you need to get the starch out and you need to flavor it. Let me show you how we're going to flavor it. We take onions, bell pepper, and celery, which also on their own are very famous as the Holy Trinity, and you take herbs and spices and put in with it and cook it until it becomes this color. Now once it's this color, it's developed a lot of sweetness and it really tastes good. Then you put these two other famous things in the red beans. This is andouille sausage, and this is a whole sausage that's cut up, and it's smoked naturally, and it has a great taste to it. This is tasso. This is ham, and you can use any kind of ham that you want, but this ham really is special by the way it's seasoned. Now when red beans are finished, they look like this and we serve them with rice. Now you see how it's real thick? And I'll show you this one. I mean it's real thick. And that thickness is the starch coming out of the beans and we season the starch after it's out the beans and that's what makes red beans and rice so wonderful and that's good cooking, good eating, good loving. We love you guys!